Hey guys, Tank here. Today I'm going to test out three different glues because not a glue are made the same. So these are the three glue I'm going to test. The Shoe Goo, Goop, and the Gorilla Glue. Uh, the Clear Grip Gorilla Goo. The, all three are of a paste. But last time I uh, actually used this one on my uh, painted uh, chrome car. And I found that it, it did eat up a little bit of the paint. And usually I always use this. And this one is a little not as a corrosive or not as bad on the paint. So this is what I'm going to check. I'm going to test these three type of glues onto a painted strip that I have. So it's backed up with paint, just like a real car would be. And I'm also going to try it on styrene because I remember using this a while back on styrene in my son's Jeep. And it really, uh, not burned up, but... Uh, it really kind of melted and bent the shape out of the styrene. Um, so I'm going to test that on the styrene. I'm going to test all three of these glue and see which one's the strongest and which one reacts more to the paint. So on my chrome body, you can notice here there's a kind of a half circle. This is where the glue actually was corrosive and ate up a little bit of the paint at the back. So it does show up a little bit. And not all paints are made equal. So this is the Tamiya. And the one on this body is actually the Spaz stick paint. Both of them are were backed up. Now this piece is made 100% with the Tamiya color. So I know for a fact that this one, if I use the Shugu, it is corrosive. So we'll try this one on this one, which is a Tamiya. Okay, now that I got it out of the packaging uh, all three of them are clear glue it's so it should be uh, transparent so what i've done is i put sg for shoe goo goop and then g for gorilla glue and i did the same thing on this uh, test so i'm going to open in them up and stick these on two here standing up and see how they actually eat up the glue in about 24 hours Okay, so we'll start with the shoe goo. And what I'm going to do is put a dab on it. Almost as if it was the same thing I do with a magnet. I'm going to take quite a bit, uh, a bit of it. And then put it onto here. And then it should be liquid enough that it's going to flatten out. And since I have it out, whoa, it's falling. Of course, I should do something to make it hold straight. I'll just put this for now. And I'll move on to this piece real quick. Should try to find something to hold them up. Okay, let's try the goop. Try to put the same amount on all of them. It's going to be tricky. but especially getting them to hold straight is also going to be a tricky thing. Everything is falling. Put that there for now. Let's get the styrene done and of course it falls over. This was not rehearsed, people. Yep, 
Yes, I think I'm gonna cut the uh, my stick a little shorter, so it won't uh, fall it easy. There we go. I shorten it up a bit, so it should be less susceptible of falling. So let's do the last one, which is the Gorilla Glue. Which is the first time I'm actually using this one, so it's going to be interesting to see how it actually compares to the Goo and Shoe Goo. I think this one is a little bit more liquid. Oh my god, this one smells like contact cement. They do say to put it on and then wait um, a little bit before putting it against the other one and put it on the two surfaces and wait a minute or two until it dries out a bit and then put it on. But they do mention that this one, the Gorilla Glue, is more of a contact. So there we go. All three of them are glued up. And they all pretty much have the same amount of glue. See how that reacts on it. Uh, I know I, uh, on the other te test that I did with the shoe goop, with the goop, I mean, uh, it actually really, when it dried, it really pulled the styrene together and actually bent it out of shape. So this should be interesting to see how all three of them react onto the styrene and onto the painted body. And once it's done, I'm actually going to try pulling it off. That's why I wanted to use a stick, so I can actually try to see which one is actually stronger. So, let's see how they hold up. But it looks, the constant, the constancy of them looks about the same. I thought this one's a little bit more liquid, but all three looks pretty close to the same. So, see you in 24 hours. Hey guys, here we are, final conclusion of the test. Um, I said I was going to wait 24 hours, but I actually waited to this video for about a month. So this has been sitting for about a month, and like you can tell, uh, this is the Shoe Goo, the Goop, and the Gorilla Glue. This one also Shoe Goo, Goop, and Gorilla Glue. So I actually glued the sticks on there, and everything's holding, everything is fine, everything is very strong on all of them. So what I want to do real quick, which I never tested before, is we're going to try to break it off. But before I break it off, I just want to mention uh, that the, the strength of the glue, in other words, how it melts it. This is very thin styrene. I can't remember the thickness, but it's, it is not a thick styrene. Uh, the goop and the shugu actually did bend the styrene a little bit. I'm pretty doubtful that you'll be able to see this, but I, when I run my finger across, I can feel that the goop and the shugu did um, bend the, the styrene and actually melted it a little bit. So that's not too good, especially if you're trying to do something. But the Gorilla Glue, there's nothing. There's no bump. There's nothing. No uh, aberration or anything. It's actually good. And also here on Lexan, I did a test real quick on the Lexan to see if it was going to affect the paint. So this is the painted side and uh, this is the glossy side of the uh, Lexan. So like you can tell right here, there's a, there's a little dimple right here where my thumb is. And that's actually the Shugu pulling the pulling the piece of wood through because as it dries it actually shrinks and it shrinks a lot uh, for the shugu that is and um, it pulls it a lot in so for strength i believe this one is going to be the winner but if you're putting magnets or anything it's not good having something that actually gives you um artifacts or bend in your body so the shugu is very strong 
uh, the goop. Uh, it did not pull it through. And the uh, Gorilla Glue also was pretty good. So now what I want to do is just do the test to actually see if it's going to break. And it's not. Oh, it did break that one. Took a lot, but it did come off. Now let's try the goop. And I did that on purpose on putting a, a piece of wood there just so I can use it as a pry bar. Now you might say like maybe this one didn't have as much area, but I tried to be equal on all of them when I did do this test. So this one did come off. Now let's try the goop. Seems to be holding. And it is not coming off and it is coming back. It is very rubbery, so it's coming back to where it was before. Then let's try the Gorilla Glue. This one is seems to be harder. It seems to be not as rubbery. seems to give you a, a harder finish and and when you actually feel it with your fingernail also um, the Gorilla Glue is actually a harder finish than the other one so the goop and the sh uh, Gorilla Glue is actually staying on pretty strong now I wanted to do the same thing here on styrene not different uh, it's a different material so let's give it a try and just bend it that side, bend it on this side. So that one is pretty good. It's staying on there. And like I mentioned, the shugu and the goop actually uh, warp the material at the back. So I think those are going to be the strongest ones on styrene. Yep, those two are staying on no problem. Now let's try the Gorilla Glue. So all of them are pretty good on Styrene. It's staying on there. That's pretty neat and cool. So the only one that failed was the Shugu on the Lexan. But the Goop and the uh, Gorilla Glue actually work perfectly. So putting it magnets on body, I'm gonna go with Goop. Goop and Gorilla Grip. That one is not too good on uh, Lexan. And uh, all of them survived. That's cool. One thing I like about Gorilla Guru is the size of the applicator. Uh, because it's a smaller nozzle, nozzle it's much easier to um, Put the stuff in i know that they give you a, a plastic nozzle to come in but if ever you use it you can't really clog it or block it so you're kind of stuck with putting the cap back on that means the nozzle you have to clean it out so it's messy so i like the format of the gorilla glue uh, for a simple reason it's a small applicator that's the only thing but for large areas and things like that the goop and the shugu are two wonderful material but for hobby right now i'm going to be using and i've been using this one for the last month on a lot of different projects it's typically just because of the application well guys hope you enjoyed this test if you'd like me to test any other thing just let me know and i'll give it a test thanks don't forget to leave a thumbs up subscribe and leave the bell ring the bell thanks all right